afternoon. Today is Tuesday the 30th of August 2022. It's about uh, four o'clock. I've just nipped out, just checked the car over and just waiting for Graham to turn up in the next half hour or so for today's trip to Ipswich, which I'm driving because we can get to Ipswich but you can't get back on the train. So, and it's the uh, Pizza Cup or whatever it's called, the Papa, Papa John's Cup or whatever it is tonight. So, tick Ipswich off on my list. So, that's how this goes. Greetings from the car park at uh, Ipswich in West Street Car Park, I think it is. And the ground is somewhere up there. So we shall see. Oh, yeah. There we go. Cheers. That's the bar. Yeah, I'm We've got up here. All ladies and gentlemen, there's going to be refreshments down here. Go in here. There you go. Oh yeah, that's it. Ten, Connor Chaplin. Fourteen, 
Gods at Ipswich. time Ipswich 6 Northampton nil and uh, we were shocking that's putting it politely morning it's wednesday the 31st of august 2022 it's the day after last night's game at ipswich and uh i'm doing my report this morning because i think it was about quarter to midnight when i got home so yeah more about the game later but yeah like i said um we were driving yesterday mainly because um could get a train down there but couldn't get a train back because well we could but uh he'd have to go into london and then back out again which adds an extra about 42 quid i think it was onto the fare that was sub that would drive it's only two hours yeah so graham got round mine about four o'clock and set off uh yes yeah, straight down the a1 a14 hit a bit of traffic round um six mile bottom where the a11 comes in and a couple of times we slowed right down to an absolute crawl yep you know a little bit of traffic when we got into Ipswich we come in a bit of a weird way but that's the way they sat and have sent me you know, we've got into West End car park I think it was at just after six o'clock so sat in the car because Graham didn't want to go and then uh, left about just after seven walked into the 10 minute walk literally up to the ground 
Unfortunately, um, it said that we were at the far end of the stand that we were in, which I can't remember the name of the stand now. It says, look at my ticket. Yeah, we were in the uh, cob, the cobbled stand upper tier. There you go, cobbled stand upper tier. Let's try and get in there. There we go. Which I thought was the the far end of uh, the ground. So we walked the long way around, but it was the nearer end towards the town centre, or near the station. But we got there, you know. A little quick search of the bags, fine and dandy, straight in. Uh, Nip for a pee, went to get some food. And I, Graham said he was gonna buy me the food I made since I drove, and I told him, don't forget your card, because it's card only, no cash. So, walk up to the thing, what do you want? You know, usual bolty pine above rule, and, and Graham wanted a uh, sausage roll and he said uh, is that the veggie or don't one he said do you want the veggie one so he, I said do you want the veggie one Graham he's like oh yeah 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 and then he moans because it's a vegetarian one I said well, that's what you asked for so he goes to pay she says oh we don't take cash here it's only card so bang I had to put it on my card no great faff because Graham gave me a 10 anyway so yeah walked up to the seats yeah, the old steward stopped me on, you know, you can't film during the game. I said, yeah, no, fine. I says, all I'll do is film, the team's coming out, and that's it. The line up, when they line up, and then as soon as, the, as soon as the game kicks off, bang, camera off, back in the bag, which is what I always do. And, yep. Yeah. Game starts, within three minutes, we're 1-0 down. We got uh, the reserve keeper, Grizzly Adams, as I call him, playing... And he flapped more time, he's got more flaps than the bloody aeroplane. So, yeah. Yeah, a couple of minutes later, we're 2 0 down. Thinking, yep, this is going to be a long day. And then we go 3 0 down. And, I, and Graham had walked off and he'd go and sit down at the bottom of the stand by now because he's had enough. So, yeah. Get to half time, think, yeah, all right, nick down for a pee. So, Shoot down for a pee, come back up, talk to another couple of Cobbers fans saying this is going to be a long night. We only, we, only had, we only had, I think we had one shot on target in the first half, and we cheered that. Second half starts, bang, go 4 0 down. And then all of a sudden, there's a commotion off to my right, which is where, the, where we were, the Cobbers fans were. And two lads got thrown out. They kick off, going, oh, we'll be getting kicked out for. And this year was going, well, because you just bust three of the seats. They're running up and down the very row of the seats, jumping up and down on all the seats. There's one lad near me, pissed as a fart, sat there in his seat with his head in his hands, quite proud as Punch tell everybody how him and his mates held the coat, one of the coaches up at the, the pub stroke food stop. I'm thinking, yeah, is this worth a bother? So, yep, yeah, we go 5 0 down, and then right at the end, we go 6 0 down. I mean, we walked out at that point, we thought we've had enough of this, we want to get back to the car and get home. And literally, literally as we got down the bottom of the stairs, the final whistle went. So we walked out the state, at the uh, exit of the ground, turned right towards the, the uh, railway station, because where the car cows parked down near there. There's the two lads that have been thrown out, now picking fights with Ipswich fans in the middle of the road. I'm thinking, I do not need this. So I just walked straight past them. Graham stopped looking at him. I says, come on, Graham, let's get in there. Get, you want to get home? So walked back down there, got back in the car, and then straight trip back down the A14. Didn't stop at all. You know, two hours later, got back to mine at, I think it was quarter to midnight. Half past, half past 11, quarter to midnight, somewhere around there. Graham got in his car and he, he drove back off home and I just pooped around for half hour on the laptop, did a few things, went to bed and I got up about an hour ago. I'm going to say, this is the last week of my holiday, so yeah. And Cobblers have got Barrow at home on Saturday. That could be an interesting game because after the uh, eruptions of the game last season, yeah. And I've been offered a seat for that game, so we shall think on that one. But, uh, yeah. As to when the next away blog will be, I don't really know, to be honest. It might be Wimbledon. 
It might be Walsall if I decide last minute to go, but uh, you know, I have uh, bad memories of Walsall. Uh, for those that haven't seen it, I suggest you look at um, the video six or video seven, was it? My Walsall trip, where I got stuck at uh, Nuneaton and Coventry for hours, and it took me six and a half hours to get back home. And ended up with a taxi between uh, Leicester and uh, Stamford, where the car was parked. So, yeah. There's a lot of swearing in that one. Right. That'll do. Bye-bye.